Welcome to Krishi Sanjeevini, Sari Culture in India. Silk is the most elegant textile in the world with unparalleled grandeur, natural sheen and inherent affinity for dyes, high absorbance, lightweight, soft touch and high durability and known as the queen of textiles the world over. On the other hand, stands for the livelihood opportunity for millions owing to high employment oriented, low capital intensive and remunerative nature of its production. The very nature of this industry with its rural based on farm and off farm activities and enormous employment generation potential has attracted the attentions of planners and policy makers to recognize the industry among one of the most appropriate avenues for socio-economic development of a largely agrarian economy like India. Silk has been intermingled with life and culture of the Indians. India has a rich and complex history in silk production and its silk trade which dates back to 15th century. Sericulture industry provides employment to approximately 8 to 8.7 million people in rural and semi-urban areas in India. Of these, a sizable number of workers belong to the economically weaker sections of society including women. India's traditional and culture-bound domestic market and an amazing diversity of silk garments that reflect geographic specifically that help the country to achieve a leading position in silk industry. Silk production in India has the unique distinction of being the only country producing all the five non-commercial silks, namely the mulberry, the tropical tassar, oak tassar, eri and muka, of which muka with its golden yellow glitter is unique and prerogative of India. Mulberry sericulture is mainly practiced in five states, namely Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Bodoland, West Bengal, Jharkhand and Tamil Nadu. Northeast and the unique distinction of being the only region producing the four varieties of silk Mulberry, Octasar, Muga and Eri. Overall, Northeast region contributes 18% of India's total silk production. India is second largest producer of silk in the world. Among the four varieties of silk produced in 2021, the Mulberry accounted for 70.72% that is 23.860 million ton, Tassar 8.02 percentage, uh, Yeri 20.55 percentage and Muga 0.71 percentage of the total raw silk production of 33739 million tons. The silk production has been reduced in the country during 2021 due to the disruption caused by COVID-19 pandemic. The total raw silk production in the country during 2021 was 33739 million tonne, which was 5.8% lesser than the production achieved during the previous year, that is 2019-20, and registered around 86.5% achievement against the annual silk production target for the year 2021. <clears throat> the bivoltane's raw silk production declined by 3.4% to 6772 million tonnes during 2020-21 from 7,009 million tons during 1920. Similarly, Vanya silk, Tassar, Eri and Muka silks have also reduced by 13.8%, 3.7% and 0.8% respectively. The area under Mulberry has reduced by 0.8% in 2021 compared to the previous year, 2.38 lakh hectare. 
The export earnings during 2021 were rupees 1418.97 crores. The estimated employment generation under sericulture in the country was 8.7 million persons during 2021 compared to 9.4 million persons in 2019-20 indicating a reduction of 7.4 percentage. The demand for superior quality bivoltine silk is increasing in India for domestic consumption as well as value added silk products for the export market. The Ministry of Textiles, Government of India and Department of Sericulture in various states provide technical and financial assistance for enhancing the bivoltine silk production. Policy initiatives taken for the development of silk industry. Sericulture is a functional area under the Ministry of Textiles. Some of the recent policy initiatives taken by the Ministry to promote sericulture are as follows. National Silk Policy 2020 Sericulture is included as agriculture allied activity under the RKBY. This enables the sericulturists to avail the benefits of the scheme for the entire sericulture activities up to reeling. The CSB Amendment Act rules and regulations have been modified by the Government of India to bring quality standards in silkworm seed production. Forest Conservation Act has been amended to treat non-mulberry sericulture as forest-based activity enabling the farmer to undertake one-year silkworm rearing to the natural host plantations in the forest. Anti-dumping duty on the Chinese raw silk The Director General of Anti-Dumping and Allay Duties DGAD, New Delhi has recommended imposition of anti-dumping duty on Chinese raw silk of 3A grade and below in the form of fixed duty of US $1.85 per kg on the landed cost of imported raw silk wide notification. CDP MGNREGA convergence guideline have been finalized and issued jointly by the MOT and MORD. These guidelines will help sericulture farmers to avail assistance from MGNREGA scheme.